In terms of the preferred sequence, I think it's really about choice because we know in the front line, people have a choice of different chemotherapy drugs, depending on what toxicities they're concerned about. Uh, they have a choice of biologic, assuming they're you know, RAS wild type and have a left-sided tumor. Uh, we, of course, have effective second-line therapies, predominantly using what wasn't used in the first line. But we also have the oral agents for later line. And the exact choice of an order of those, I think, is, is still really based on discussion with patients, particularly when we're talking about the oral agents, uh, TAS-102 or regorafenib. Uh, it's clear they have very different side effect profile, TAS-102, predominantly neutropenia, and some GI uh, effects, regorafenib, diarrhea, fatigue, uh, sometimes some oral lesions, hand-foot syndrome. And we know that uh, with regorafenib, one of the challenges is keeping patients on the therapy. So really, it's a decision about which drug a patient is likely to tolerate better, uh, which uh, drug is a person um, able to comply with on a regular basis. And really what it boils down to is, because we have both of them, trying to manage the toxicity so that people can actually go on and receive that other therapy when they progress.